In this tutorial we're going to learn how to build a glossary using the player settings in Articulate Storyline. In this particular example we see that there's a glossary tab. When I click on that the glossary is made up of two sections. One section is the list of terms. The other section are definitions. So as I click on a term you can see I get my definition. Let's see how we can build this in Storyline. And now we're inside the player properties window. Go up to glossary. You can see you've got terms and definitions. Now to add a term it's pretty simple. Just go down here to where it says add. And now you have a glossary term window. You can add your term and definition. Let's copy our diabetes word. Add that in there. And then we'll copy our diabetes text. And we add that in here. And now we have a term and our definition. We hit save. And now we can see the diabetes content is in here. Now at any point if you ever want to change this just click down on Edit and then that opens that window again and you can edit that. Uh, if you want to delete something just click on the term you want to delete and hit Delete and it's gone. Now one of the advantages of using the glossary in the player is that the glossary is always available to you at any point in the course. So if the person going through the course needs to look up a term they can look it up in the glossary that's on the player. Based on your slide settings you can make the glossary available only on certain slides so that you can have them look up terms and then answer questions or different things that you can do. So a lot of neat things you can do with the glossary. It's a matter of you just going in there, learning how to use it, and then figuring out how to use it in your next course.